straddling the border of Bolivia and Chile is the towering Oyoe stratovolcano. Despite the height of this volcano, it does not have a confirmed eruption during recorded history. Its flank lava domes might appear somewhat recent, but by comparing them to similar features with a known age, this volcano may not have truly erupted in more than 100,000 years. This is why the following photo is all the more interesting. What you are looking at is not a forest fire, but volcanic gases rising from a fumarole on the volcano. This fumarole suggests that there might be a magma chamber under the volcano, otherwise it most likely would not be receiving a supply of volcanic gases. In other words, although a magma chamber has not been confirmed to exist under the volcano, just because there might be one, this volcano could be best thought of as potentially active despite having not erupted in a long time. Adding to this fact is that on January 2nd of 2023, at 8.07 a.m. local time, a volcano tectonic earthquake occurred underneath the Oyoe volcano. Registering in as a magnitude 3.0 and occurring at a depth of 2.4 kilometers, this quake could best be described as a volcano tectonic earthquake. According to Sir Nejumin and Onemi, four other volcano tectonic earthquakes have been recorded at the volcano, but were all of a lower magnitude. For context, volcano tectonic earthquakes are some of the most common to occur at volcanoes. Per a direct quote from the U.S. Geological Survey, Volcano tectonic earthquakes represent brittle failure of rock, the same process that occurs along purely tectonic faults such as the San Andreas Fault. At volcanoes, VT events can occur due to normal tectonic forces, changing stresses caused by moving magma, and movement of fluids through pre-existing cracks. Thus, while the single earthquake which occurred might have been caused by the movement of magma, whether directly or indirectly, it could have also been tectonic. Volcano tectonic earthquakes typically occur under the edifice of a volcano, although they can occur at a distance away from a volcano. This earthquake occurred at a distance of 9.6 kilometers from Oyoe's summit, so, in my opinion, I am leaning towards the quake being tectonic. With this being said, there is a seemingly northeast trending zone of weakness on the volcano involving two ravines which line up with this earthquake and a chain of distant long extinct vents. This could represent a simple fault line, or it could represent a common dike geometry where eruptions long ago occurred along this line. Although this volcano is not currently displaying signs that will erupt anytime soon, we can observe that eruptions from this complex produce quite viscous lavas. The most notable of these features are a sequence of dacite lava domes as well as lava lobes that flowed down the volcano. Other than Oyoe's active fumarole, the volcano also has one other striking feature. Around the volcano, in four different locations, there are an assortment of small hills which jet out from the ground in close proximity to one another. Known as hummocky terrain, these features form during large volume flank collapses of the volcano, aka large volume landslides which traveled on some occasions beyond 15 kilometers from Oyoe's summit. At least four such events occurred during this volcano's long geologic history, some perhaps triggered by a large volcanic eruption, while others may have simply occurred due to a hydrothermally weakened edifice eventually producing a partial collapse unrelated to an eruption. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Detroit English for becoming a new patron of Geology Hub on this channel's Patreon page.